Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing the tutorial for one of my giveaway winners. This is the international winner, a winner from outside the US. And here's his design. It's called the Maschino Bracelet. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's like maraschino cherries, but without the cherry and the raw. But yeah, I tried it with clear, and I tried it out with a sort of zebra-y chevron print. And I think both look pretty cool. But here's his Instagram account. I figured I might as well show his Instagram. So yeah, it's the Loom Guy. And he has really nice high quality pictures. And of course he came up with this design too. And yeah, he was a very nice gracious winner of my giveaway. That's his right there. The picture that he took. I'll just go find that in his feed somewhere maybe. Or not. <laughs> I feel like it's probably right in front of my face. Let me just... Hmm. I think he might have posted it on his spam. I can't remember. But anywho, he came up with the design. And, yeah. It's a hook-only design. It's fishtail based. And I think it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So let's get started. In this tutorial, I'll be making this variation of it with the stripes. But instead of a pink border, I'll be using blue for the border. And I'll explain how to make the clear one as we get into the tutorial. So yeah. Now to start off, you're going to take one of your stripey colors and start off in the normal way that you would start off a fishtail based bracelet. So what you do is you take one of your border colors, which is this neon blue. Cap it on your hook in a figure eight shape. And then you would take your next color, one of your colors that's the color of your stripey thing, which I'm using white for. You're just going to pick up one of your whites, pull it through your cap band. But when you put it back, make sure you put cap band on, at, back on, as well as the white that you just pulled through. And this might be tricky because, you know, you could just pull the white out right now really easily, but you don't want to do that. And then you take another white, and you pull it through these first two bands. you got to do it really carefully so you make sure nothing, like, moves around. And, of course, you want to put your finger on these back two here to make sure they stay in position. And then you're just going to pick up the white and just leave this blue not on your hook. And then you're going to carefully flip this, making sure that everything stays in position. And when you put it back, you'll want to make sure that there's a white, then the blue cap band, and then three more whites. And then do the same process over here, pulling a white band through these first two bands, and only picking up the white band. And then you should have something that looks like this. So there's like a single white in the middle, and then two other white bands, sort of on the left and right. And the next step you're going to do is you're going to take another blue. You're going to pinch this first white and pull it off. Pinch it along with the blue in your fingers. And then pull this neon blue through these middle four bands, again making sure that everything stays in the same order. And you're going to again pick these four bands up again along with the blue. And just make sure that everything stays in place and that the blue doesn't get pulled out. So now your band order should be white, blue, four whites, a blue, and then another white. And now you can take your next chevron stripe color, which is black. And you're going to pull it through these first three bands, which is a white, a blue, and then another white. You're going to pick up the middle blue and then the white that's farthest to the left. Then you're going to take that blue and make sure your black isn't on the hook when you're doing this. Take the blue, 
pull it over that white, and now you can put your black on your hook. So it looks like this. There should be black, a white, a black, three whites, a blue, and then another white. And then you very carefully flip this over on your hook, making sure that you pick up all the bands. And when you do this, again, make sure everything stays in position. You should have three, seven bands other than the blue. And then you repeat the same process on the other side, pulling the black through the first three, a white, a blue, and a white, making sure they stay in position, pulling this blue, putting this blue, and the white that's farthest to the left back on your hook, pulling the blue over the white, making sure that the black isn't on your hook when you do this, and then putting the black on your hook. And then your next step is just to add another neon blue band. And when you do this again, you gotta take the first band off your hook, and then pull this neon blue through the middle six bands now. It's not four, it's six now. But when you pick bands back up, you only pick the outer four bands up. So you pick a white and a black, you skip the middle two, and then you pick up the other black and the other white. Hi, Mom. Okay. So it should look like this after you do that. Mom. Thank you. Anyways, it's basically the same stuff again. Same type of steps. You're going to pick up white now. An easy way to go by this to see what you know color you pick up next is. Whoops! I dropped the bracelet. Ugh, off camera. Anyways. The easy way to see which color you want to do next is if there's a black at the end of your hook, you're going to want to put on white next. So that's what I'm going to do. And you're going to pull it through these first three again. Now the colors have changed so there's a white and a black, but that doesn't really matter. And again, you're going to drop this white off here, pick up the blue and the black, and again, keeping this white off your hook, you're going to pull the blue over the black and then put your white back on. And then you can flip it over, making sure that when you put your bands back on your hook, that you have seven bands other than the blue color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then one blue. And as you can see the blue shifted here. It was originally in the middle of these two bands. So you'll just want to throw it back in position. When you do that you'll want to go underneath the color. Any other color you don't want the blue to go over this white. And then again you're going to pull a white through the first three bands here. Pick up the blue and the band closest to the left, keeping the white off your hook, then going to pull the blue over the black and put the white back on. And then you're going to pick up yet another neon blue for your border. Pick, pinch this first white on your hook, pull the blue through the middle six bands, When you're picking up bands again, only picking up the outer two on each side, pick up two, skip the middle two, and then pick up the other two. And then put these bands on the other side back as well. And you're just going to repeat the process over and over again. Next you would pull a band through these three, pick up these two while leaving the band that you just pulled through off your hook, pulling the blue over the white, and then putting that one band back on your hook. Repeating the same thing on the other side, and then pulling the blue through and doing all that stuff. So you just repeat that until your bracelet is long enough, and I'll come back to show you how to finish it. And yeah, I hope you can pick up on the area where you switch steps a little bit.
because you know the starting starting off your bracelet's a little different than the actual steps for the middle of it. So I hope you understood that well enough. But yeah, after the step where you like pull through four bands in the middle, I think it repeats, you know, normally from then on. So yeah, I hope I explained that well, and I'll be back after working on the rest of this. Alright, so I'm back. I've made this long enough to fit around my wrist, and it should look something like this. And at the end here, it's really easy to finish it off. You first gotta just make sure that you don't have any blue bands on your hook. You just finish the step where you added a band at the end of each side. And you're just going to take one of your border colors, pull it through all these bands, and then take your clip, clip it, and then find this cap band at the other end of the bracelet, and clip your cap band. And there's your bracelet. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to tag both me and the loom guy in your pictures on Instagram that you take of us. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. See you later. Bye.